Hey everyone, Akshan here and in today's video we are going to be comparing the YJ MGC 6x6 which is the magnetic one and the X-Man Shadow M V1. So let's get right into this. So in this video we are going to try to see which of these cubes performs better on an overall and if you were looking to buy, if you had these two in mind to buy, which one would you go for? So in the video we are going to be comparing external features and then the internal features of both puzzles like together. So um, let's start off with the external features first. So um, first we talk about the weight or, and the size of the puzzles. So the MGC 6x6 weighs about 174 grams and is 65 millimeters across. And I would say for a 6x6, it's around average weight, it's not too heavy. While um, the Shadow M weighs slightly more at 189 grams and it's quite noticeable, it's like 15 grams heavier. But it's the exact same size, uh, 65 millimeters across. As you can see, they're the exact same size. So that's the weight and size of the two of them. So I would say the MGC is, since it's slightly lighter, it's more easy to sort of do cube rotations and slices and stuff like that. But um, at the same time, if you have a rough turning style, you would prefer the Shadow M because it's so heavy, it makes it slightly more stable. We'll come to the stability later in the video. So yeah, now we'll go on to the color shades. So the color shades of both puzzles are pretty similar except for a few. Whites, whites and yellows are the exact same, but um, the blue of the, uh, of the Shadow M is slightly darker than the blue of the MGC and the same with the red and orange. So as you can see, the Shadow M has slightly darker shades see that the red and the green so apart from white and yellow shadow m has darker shades which some people prefer but i personally prefer the lighter shades so you can check that out on cubelator's website they have great up close pictures of both cubes and you can see which uh, color shades you prefer so i think that's all for the external features now we'll move on to the very important internal features which everyone mostly looks at when they're purchasing cubes so let's start out with the tensions the tensions of the mgc out of the box were quite loose in fact and I was I used to have a lot of pops on the MGC because of that. So what I did to fix the MGCs this thing is I tightened each the screw on each face which is in there by about half a turn. But uh, yeah out of the box pretty loose the MGC but the Shadow M was I would say perfectly tensioned almost because it just felt really stable and uh, yeah that's that's for the tensions. So tensions, I would say the Shadow M was much better out of the box, but the MG, since the MGC is so light and has such good performance features to it, just tightening it by a little bit makes it a lot better. So now we'll move on to corner cutting. Now the corner cutting on both puzzles is around the same, but the MGC is slightly better, like very slightly. So as you can see, this is about one and a half cubies and the MGC can pretty much cut it every time. But when we go to the Shadow M, it's one QB is easy, but a little more than that, and you start having those annoying internal lockups. So, you know, the very so these things, and um, yeah, that's like a downside of the Shadow M, which can probably be fixed by tensioning it right. But again, when you tension it weirdly, it starts sort of loses stability, which is not a great thing. So, now that we're done with corner cutting, let's look at the magnetic strengths, which is a very important aspect, especially for magnetic puzzles like these. So, the magnetic strengths of the MGC are. I would say they're average, like they're not too strong, except the internal layers are quite strong compared to the outer layers. The outer layers have pretty normal magnets, not very strong at all. In fact, you can not even notice them until you slowly turn. However, the inner layers, you can notice it on every single turn, especially the complete like middle middle layers like these ones. It's very strong and that sort of helps with reducing these lockups. So like when you start turning and you start another turn you know so those perpendicular turns cause a lot of lockups and by strengthening the magnets here you're forced I mean you're not forced but it sort of aligns layers in such a way that it reduces those lockups so the MGC has stronger magnets that way while the shadow has slightly like around the same on the outer layers as the MGC but the inner layers don't have as strong of the magnets because I think the main reason probably for that is it's heavier it's 15 grams heavier so the weight sort of compensates for that effect and if you had a heavy cube along with strong magnets, it would just become very difficult to turn. So that's the reason I feel. And um, yeah, I would say on an overall, you can't I, can't, I can't really say which one has better magnetic strengths because the, the lower magnetic strengths in this are compensated by its weight and the higher magnetic strengths in this are sort of 
you know it's at a price which i will come to soon so now let's move to inner layer performance which is a very important aspect of big cubes especially so since as i've been saying throughout this video since the shadow is heavier and tighter it just feels a lot more stable right so a lot of people would prefer this in even in terms of inner layers they might prefer this cube but you know it it does tend to give you a few lockups and it's not really very very um very friendly to fast turning i would say but it is extremely stable at the same time so if you're a slow turner you would definitely enjoy the shadow mv1 however the mgc does have good inner see so here's the thing here's the thing about the mgc at the price of stability a lot of things are good so the mgc's inner layers are a lot faster a lot lot faster and you can hear that by the sound that was the shadow that was the mgc so the mgc is a lot faster and i would say slightly more efficient in terms of the inner layers especially the middle most layer and it feels almost like a 3x3 when you do these turns and when you're executing edge parity and things like that but the shadow since it's heavier and has weaker magnetic strengths the inner layers are sort of okay but i would say they're slightly below par when compared to the mgc however it is still a very very decent cube so now for the last aspect for the internal features and this is the most important one which is the overall stability of the cube so if i had to comment on overall stability the shadow is definitely more stable however the mgc does give you like does give you more speed at the price of a little stability so that might be a slight turn off for a lot of cubers but um, at the same time it depends on your turning style so even if you think that the shadow is more stable if you have a fast turning style it may not be the best to use the shadow because it's sort of suited for slower turners and i don't mean people who solve more slowly i just mean people who turn more accurately and slowly which who may even be faster than people who turn like absolutely insanely fast so yeah that's my comment on the overall stability so the shadow is more stable technically but the mgc does compensate for it with great speed and great magnetic strength to compensate so yeah now let us compare on an overall and let's talk about the total performance and whether these two cubes are worth the price they're at so as we know the mgc line is already a very uh, decently priced line and it's meant to be in fact um, moderately priced and not too expensive but if i had to rate each of these puzzles out of 10 i would give 8.5 out of 10 for the mgc and 8 out of 10 for the shadow now don't get me wrong both of these are absolutely amazing puzzles but the mgc is ever so slightly better it's very slightly better only because it has so if i were to talk about the ratio between stability and speed the mgc has a better ratio sorry speed to stability the mgc has a better ratio and when you're doing big cubes you often want that to be a higher ratio although some people may prefer a more stable cube over speed which is why i would say this is more for you if you want to turn more slowly but this provides for especially after you tighten the mgc it becomes very very fast and decently stable i wouldn't say fully stable because again it's out of the box it was very loose and since it's meant to be faster it does have to come at a price you can't have everything great on a puzzle so if you set it up in your own way you could make this extremely stable and turn extremely smoothly without compromising on stability but um as of this point it has slightly lesser stability than stability than this but definitely more speed and therefore it becomes a much more fun puzzle to solve and also makes it much faster however the shadow does not meet that and i would say that in the battle between these two puzzles the mdc wins and i would just like to put a disclaimer that this is just my personal opinion and maybe the opinion of a few fast cubers but um yeah that's what i would say about them 8.5 and 8 out of 10 So both are the, both are absolutely great puzzles, and they have immense potentials to become the mains of any cubers, regard like almost regardless of speed. But people tend to turn to the MGC because of its speed. So, yeah, I think that's the battle between these two cubes sorted. And um, yeah, I definitely recommend you should go and read more about these puzzles, especially on Cube Dealer's website where they have all the details listed. And uh, yeah, that's all for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. See you. Bye.